Hey guys, this is Billy Davidson with Davidson Press Wash Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. I want to talk to you tonight about parking lot striping. So, um, some of the guys out there that uh, that watch the channel are stripers. They parking lot stripers. They do it full time. Are they looking to get into it? Um, or either you know you might have a full time job and you just kind of want to get get out of that place, you know, eventually, and um, you know, retraining yourself for a whole new career is tough especially when you get my age but you know going for a side hustle is a much more plausible uh situation that you can try to get into so i get a lot of questions on that and that's why i am uh developing some of these training videos um on parking lot striping for the, for one how much do you charge that's a big deal like yeah you can come out here and learn how to do it but can you make a living at it so the answer is yes if you know what the charge, if you know what the pitfalls on pricing these parking lines could be, um, you know, it could be, um, man, it could swing wildly. You know, you can, I've seen guys that come out here and make $50, $60 an hour. And then I've seen guys come out here making five or $600 an hour. So you want to be somewhere in between that. So you got to know how many you can do per hour, how much you charge. And there's a thousand things to that go into it. So I got a training video on how to price out parking lines if you're interested if not if you already know that's cool too but my main topic here is what i want to talk about these parking lines i get a lot of questions about do we just paint over this you know do we just uh, line up and paint over it and so the short answer is yes and uh, the other part of that answer is no so not to mean to complicate things so we're going to go into that a little bit right now um if you take a parking line let's talk paint, parking line paint in general has some very serious bonding agents in it and what that means it is stick to almost anything the keyword almost so this right here if you bend down and touch it and it has loose material on it it definitely needs to be swept now if it has a wet look to it because it's got a lot of algae on it then at that point you need to power wash it so remember that if it's got loose material on just sweep or blow it off and you're fine but a lot of times you have a combination of this and and then what do you do? Do you come in and power wash? Uh, I mean, do you come sweep this this section off? But as you get down into the near the curb where it might have some of that algae and mildew right in here on the, in the first two or three feet of it, what do you do there? So it's a combination of what you can do there. And I'm gonna go into that here in a second. So what I would do with these parking lines right here, I would go ahead and blow these off as well as possible. And I have a stiff wire brush broom. Okay, so I'll go ahead and this last few feet, what the blower don't get, I'll try to wire brush it off. These actually ain't too bad, but some of them you'll see the ends of these lines actually where the water sets as the water rains and it comes up against the curb here. You have two or three feet of heavy sediment here, mold and mildew, and you just can't paint over it. Even if you swept it off, the mold and mildew is still there. So what we do, we take that wire brush that's on a broomstick basically, and wire brush this line really, really good and then this is the big secret so don't tell nobody this this is what i do i'll take a pump up sprayer and i take about a 50 50 mix of sodium hypochlorite and the majority of the lines find the paint right but when you get down here where the water sets against this curb sweep it off blow it off best you can and then take that sodium hypochlorite in a pump sprayer and lay it on this line right here just the first four or five feet whatever you need and it's going to kill that mildew and then what you can do you can come back with a hand towel or a rag or just an old shop towel. You drop it on the ground. Once it's about halfway dry, you drop that towel on the ground. You put your foot on it and you sort of kind of rub it. Or you can take a broom, a wire brush, kind of basically you want to dry it out. So that's what we do. We just drop it on the ground. We use our foot. It keeps you from having to bend down 50 times. So that's, you know, that's the kind of the cross in between of getting it clean enough for the paints to stick but not having to come in here and wet this whole parking lot and have to wait two days to stripe it. So that's how we do it. We can take a parking lot like this and stripe it one night by using those techniques. Just come in here and sweep and blow all this stuff off best possible. If it's got a little mildew in there, treat it with a 50-50 mix of sodium hypochlorite and a pump sprayer, not much, because you don't, you don't want it to be wet for too long. And then come back and drop old shop towel and just kind of rub it. And it usually dries within 10 or 15 minutes. And if you got your hand blower still available, you can dry it like that too a little quicker. So think about that. 
And those are some of the tricks we do. That way we don't have to make two, three, four trips out here. Because I guarantee you, you come out here and pressure wash these lines, next time you come stri uh, go to stripe it, it could be raining. Uh, you know, cars could be parked here. It's hard enough to get cars to move once. Now you're trying to get them to move a second time and maybe even a third time. Boy, that's, that's a no-go sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So we get the job done when we're here at all costs. So because they're moving all these cars out the way one time, that's that's not probably, you know, that's like lightning striking twice the same place. And trust me, when you're doing apartment complexes and uh, shopping centers and all that stuff, it's just best to try to get it done. So that's what we do. Um, now, there are times I will have to come in and power wash each line. And that's... Uh, that's a whole nother animal. Of course, we'll ride around with our trailer. And um, what you might hear in the background right behind us, we're actually doing some surface cleaning. But we'll ride around with our trailer, just a tank full of water, and pressure wash just the line. We'll put the yellow tip on your wand and just hit it right there, just, just the line itself. Try not to go on each side of the line. And that way, when you paint it, you know, it's on a super clean. Now, that's, that's kind of rare. That don't have to happen all the time, but sometimes it does. And of course, that's in a total different extra charge for doing that, because that means that second trip back out here. So anyway, I hope this helps. If you need my help on parking lot striping, um, like, I, like I was saying earlier, if you want to learn how to uh, price this stuff out, I have a training video. It's 90 minutes long. It's expensive, but you know, if you're in a bind and you can't afford, you know, the hundred bucks or something, just let me know. We'll try to work something out, you know. But um, I'm not trying to be hard about it. But I do, I do feel at that information super super duper valuable and you will see it once you watch it and obviously if you're not in a parking lot striping this is not gonna pertain to you or you know but look it's, it's good money and everywhere i travel it needs to be done there is a shortage of stripers out there um i guarantee you start riding around looking out your window um looking at these parking lines and you're gonna see they faded and they beat up and they need to be done and uh they need people to do them we get calls all the time that want us to come out of state to stripe because they can't find somebody there to stripe it. And uh, one place is all in the Tennessee, Kentucky area. I know I'm probably letting out some top secret information. We get calls out of Tennessee all the time wanting us to come up to Tennessee, which is too far. You know, especially just to do like maybe a seven or eight thousand dollar job. I can't do it. You know, I wish I could. You know, you drive up there two, two days back and forth, and I can't do it. But you know, um, so there's all that Tennessee, Kentucky area, even Virginia, um, West Virginia, North, South Carolina. I don't know what it is about that area. There's no stripers in there or there's not many. So if you're hearing this out there in that area, get in touch with me because we can get you back kicking, uh, kicking in the parking lot. Strike. You'd probably be more busy than ever, ever you could ever imagine. But all that Kentucky, Tennessee, I'm trying to think of all the states. Georgia, I've gotten some out of North Georgia those calls um definitely the carolinas um pennsylvania oh my god i almost forgot about that pennsylvania um i get of course there's no way we can go that far and i don't even know why we ranking up there but we do so anyway uh get in touch with me if you need my help or text me if you want any of those training videos my phone number is 985-345-0778 i'm billy davidson the owner of davidson pressure washer painting and i'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and i'll talk to y'all soon